battle and fittingly for the home of Wushu, China. Elahe Minori and Sumarumi, she and her sister, you will see her later tonight, have been dynamite. And Luan Thi Hong from Vietnam, also spectacular. But it's Mansurian Samirumi has been really, really on fire. Samirumi known to punch while in the clinch, but for our viewers, you don't earn po points in the clinch. But as Robin continually reminds us, that damage that you do in the clinch, your opponent feels. So we will see Samirumi punching in the clinch using this long reach of hers. There it is. And whether that fatigues her, takes a breath out of her, confuses her, introduces other things to be aware of, the good fighters have been striking in the clinch a lot. You see Hong just a little bit shorter than Samirumi. Let's see her work her way in so that she can score. She also has a great roundhouse kick that she scores with. And sorry, on said Marumi, if you ran in the red, Hong of Vietnam in the blue. Both have scored points here in the first round. It is very competitive. And sorry, on said Marumi is ahead. And there's an appointed attack and an off platform off platform and actually off of the cushioning there to the floor, but both women up. That appointed attack, Robin, means that the platform judge wants the fighters to engage. Our viewers will see him, the platform judge, alternate. He'll call one, co one color to initiate, then he'll call another color to initiate. They have five seconds. That's a rule change to the new Sundown rules. Before they had eight seconds, they have five seconds with which to engage. If not, they have a penalty of one point. And there's a takedown by Hong. An important takedown. At an important time, it pulls her closer on a couple of judges' scorecards. One strike will bring her even. A two-point strike may put her ahead. But you see Mansori and Samarumi landing those punches and scoring. 30 seconds remaining. When one fighter is down with 30, and then 20, and then 10, they start to really open up, and we see a lot of points in those last moments and a lot of action throughout the week. The fighters can't see the score, but the coaches can see it. And you can believe Hong's coaches knew just how close she was. That two points for Samarumi moves her even farther ahead on the card with the last 10 seconds. And it's a big advantage when uh, Samarumi is, is on the, uh, ahead on the scorecards because she can stay on the outside and she has the reach advantage. She has a great game at distance because of her physical attributes and her skills. So then Hong has to come forward, which allows, allows Mansori and Samarumi to land on her. And she did that at the end, and she's up around. Iran, 52 kilogram final, wins round one of this gold medal match. Round winner is red. One of them go off the platform, or one goes off, but it's still holding the other. Points are not scored. You have to a clean throw for the lay tie. We will see that plenty tonight. It's a skill these incredible athletes have developed, and it's a game that they definitely play. It's unique. It, you know, it exists, of course, in some combat sports. Sumo being one of the most famous in the game, and pushing somebody from the platform is a part of their game. Uh, but in this context, with, with the hands and the feet and the grappling and the throwing, adding that necessity to have full awareness of where you are in space and in relation to the edge and your opponent adds a whole extra layer to this game. We're into our second round, Robin here. Samarumi looking to cap this off and Hong looking to take her to a third round if she can. With that foot off, while well, she's still holding it. She's still holding so it'll be herself. one point taken. That's right. 
So if she had been thrown free, it would be two points off platform. If she had been thrown to the mat, oh, she is working. Strong working hard for that. This distance so favors Alani and Sori and Semirumi because Kong has to pass through the kicking distance and the long reach of her hands. The other thing about Semirumi is that she's fighting with combinations for the most part unless it's a takedown. So the judges see her leading in with her hands or leading with her feet and following with something. So she's earning a point here and a point there and that's what's edged her along in this first 45 seconds. And you add to that, that from that distance where she's out pointing her, Hong, as we see here, must shoot in. Hong shoots in, and then Elahe is able to neutralize her or take her down and score from there too. So you're damned if you're on the outside, and you're damned if you get in. Hong is moving in, and when she moves in low to a taller woman that's very comfortable wrestling, she's pushing her down and she's earning the takedown relatively easily. Hong's takedown, on the other hand, is a bit of a struggle for her. You see her trying to take her down. And there's Mansouri and Samaruni pushing down again. It really is a challenge here. If she only had the physical advantages, you could give many ways to approach it. But when somebody has the physical advantages and this exquisite skill as well, starts to get tougher and tougher. But credit Hong, because she has not taken a step back. The, the answer is forward movement. You can't stay outside of somebody with so much reach on you. So the answer is whether one at a, a bit at a time or all at once, you've got to try to cross that There's distance. a side oh. kick that Hong has shown, and it earned her two points from some of the judges. 10 seconds remaining, can it be hard for her to be able to make that up, but she can push kick by Maybe Hong can take the lessons of that side kick and the kicking range of the straight line chambered from the hip. Maybe she can bring that in. The Iranian Look fighter. Look at the glee. Look at the glee. From Elaha Mansouri Cimarroni. Look at the glee. Her sister, Charbano. A couple of rounds. The sister competes at 65 kilograms. And there is your 52 kilogram gold medal winner, Elahe Mansouri and Samarumi of Iran. And our silver medalist, Guti Lang of Vietnam. And two very deserving champions. Very much. There's so many elements I've already been, you know.